there is also another element to you. You're the second person after Keiji Mohadi we've had on the show this season who's got a father who's a Sangoma. Yeah. My dad's what? a Sangoma. <laughs> so I'm a little mixed masala situation, <laughs> hidden special. Um, and yeah, I, I, I grew up in a very different home. Um, and it was very difficult as, as a kid, I think, growing up. I was always bullied because friends would come over and they would see all the things. We'd burn in purple. We have all these things for the shrine and the ancestors. And my mom is also a very spiritual woman. She's practicing Buddhist, but grew up Shinto. So she has her Japanese thing going on in the house as well with the incense and the typical Japanese um, ancestral home that we, you have in each house. And, so it was very, it was very different, and um, I'm very proud of it now. But my goodness, growing up was rough. Oh yeah, oh. It, yeah, it was, it was very difficult. Everyone called me a witch, so I didn't have many <laughs> friends. <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean, there's, there's drums everywhere. There's animal skins, <laughs> and we, you know, we're doing all sorts of rituals. We have a medicine wheel in the backyard. <laughs> 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 you might have the most interesting background of anyone right? we've had on the technical <laughs> show in nine I love seasons. That. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Listen, I think it's I think it's a beautiful thing to embrace your culture, and I think it's something we really need to teach our kids because I have a lot of friends um, who refuse to go back to their roots, um, and they look at me and I burn in people in my house now, and I f still follow some of the traditions that my parents have passed on to me, um, and I'm very proud of it. I'm Japanese and I'm African. I'm not so I'm not exquisite. the color of my skin. I am what you know is running through my veins. We're South African. We got I mean, we have it's such a a great culture we've got such a great heritage yeah there's pain but my gosh there's so much greatness and if we don't yeah. celebrate the great and we just fixate on the terrible and I don't know where we're gonna end up in 10 20 years from now yeah. good for you Lala right. it's a great philosophy to have